Hi guys, this is Devajyoti here and today we are going to try out the buffet lunch of Cafe Treat of Pride Hotel which is located at Newtown Rajahat. I will also drop the Google map link in the description below. So what are you waiting for? Come let's eat. But before I begin, this is to remind you if you haven't already, do click the subscribe button so that you will never miss an, another update from this channel. And also click the bell icon so that you get notified first when I upload a new video. And do follow me in Zomato as I post the pictures of food photography over there. And now that you have done that, come let's eat! Cafe Treat is a casual dining restaurant located at the heart of Newtown Rajarhat. Offering a spacious and airy ambience with a modern look and feel, having a designated buffet counter with attractive decorations in every nook and corner, which will surely catch one's attention as they enter. Their buffet consists of a variety of Italian, Chinese, North Indian, and continental delicacies, almost 22 to 25 main course items, along with 10 to 12 types of salad and 12 to 15 types of dessert. So to sum it up, the buffet of this place has roughly 45 to 50 items at a price point of 850 rupees approx, but you will surely get a good rebate if booked through Dineout app. But please note, Dineout hasn't sponsored this video. The buffet comprises of one complimentary mocktail and you can choose from green apple mojito watermelon cooler or orange vanilla shake. These are the Szechuan pepper chili fish which was highly flavorful and spicy at the same time. The fish was very fresh and the sorted onions gave an extra bit of crunch to every bite, followed by the watermelon cooler which was very refreshing and helped to cool down the taste buds. These are the fried vegetable wontons which were super crispy and had a mild spicy feeling of different vegetables inside followed by the orange vanilla mocktail which was nothing exceptional but tasted nice These are chili garlic chicken which was sorted well in different Chinese herbs and spices the chicken was very soft and had a mild spicy flavor profile. This is the bread and soup section which contains 5 types of different exotic breads along with chicken tom yum soup which had a nice soothing taste and aroma followed by the mushroom and garlic soup which tasted equally well.
salad section consists of more than 10 types of salad and needless to mention that all of them were presented in a very eye catchy vibrant way. This is the first place I have ever been to which even offers so many variations of salad in the buffet along with the other main course items. But seriously who on earth pays for buffet to experience this many types of salad? Anyways if you love experiencing different salads comment down below and frankly speaking I tested only a few of the salad items so that I can try the main course items and I must say that they tasted really great and I assume that all of them should taste equally well because the efforts of the chef are clearly visible by the awesome presentation of each and every item. The salad section also had raita, dahi bara and different types of papers and mayonnaise dressings. And don't forget to ask for the ice cream at the end of the buffet as it's not displayed in the buffet section. This is the steamed long grain rice followed by the onion polao which had a nice proportion of fried onions and a saffron flavored aromatic rice. This one is the dal lazis which is basically yellow pulses cooked in a mixture of 5 Bengali herbs and spices followed by chole rasile. The chickpeas had a nice aroma of garam masala and the mildly spicy curry was garnished nicely with green chilies and onion rings. The Afghani paneer had a creamy curry due to the use of cashew and poppy seed paste and the paneer was very soft and delicious as it absorbed the flavors of the curry really well followed by the soya pepper masala which had a subtle aroma and taste of crushed black peppers and garnished well with chopped cilantro and green chilies. The gilafi shik kebab were made using finely minced chicken, onion, ginger garlic and different types of capsicum along with different herbs and spices and then grilled to perfection over charcoal fire. It had a lip smacking delicious taste and aroma followed by the gajar corns which had a nice contrast of flavors as the curry was bit spicy but the corns and carrots had a sweet nice taste. Thai style veg noodles had carrots, capsicum and different exotic herbs and spices followed by the Chinese style non-spicy soupy Asian vegetables which somewhat had a veg manchurian flavor to some extent and both of them tasted equally well. The Korai Shuti Kofta had small deep fried balls of sweet green peas in a unique flavored reddish curry followed by the jinghe posto which had a nice aroma and flavor of mustardy poppy seed paste. The subs miloni had different types of winter vegetables like green peas, carrots, capsicums and cauliflower in an oily rich curry which went really well with butter naans which were served at the table. Followed by the very delicious karai alu which was made of golden fried baby potatoes and different types of bell peppers in tomato based curry and with different North Indian herbs and spices.
This is the vegetable tangine which somewhat had a mixed taste of veg manchurian and vegetable corn soup followed by the sorted vegetables in Chinese herbs and spices which had different exotic bell peppers, sweet corns and shredded cheese. The three baked cheese had different types of exotic vegetables in a non-spicy concoction of parmesan, feta and mozzarella cheese followed by the pasta which had a nice Mexican flavor profile and it was garnished well with black olives. In the non-veg main course section we have the grilled fish in dill butter sauce Fresh vetki fish fillets are marinated in Mexican herbs and spices before the fish fillets were baked over charcoal fire and then dipped in the white cheesy garlicky buttery curry and garnished vibrantly using red cherry tomatoes and chopped dill leaves. This one is Murk Patiala curry which had large tender chicken pieces in a mildly spicy creamy and nutty flavored curry containing different Punjabi herbs and spices and it went really well with the lachha paratha which was served at the table. This one is mutton in black bean sauce. Different Thai herbs like galangal, nutmeg and lemongrass is used along with freshly crushed black bean paste to make this curry. The boneless cubes of mutton pieces were very juicy and tender as it absorbed the spices really well. The dessert section begins with payasam which is Bengali version of finni having tons of cashews and raisins and tasted much better than any other regular finni followed by the mango tart which was a bit sweet, a bit creamy and tangy at the same time and apart from these two there were more 8 to 9 different popular desserts from around the globe and needless to mention that all of them were very fresh and looked very colorful and vibrant and tasted that delicious. Far, I really 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 appreciate if you hit the like button if you have enjoyed the video and if you have enjoyed the video what's the harm in sharing it thanks for watching and I'll meet you in the next one bye bye